Lewis, a very warm welcome to Reading Football Club. Just signed the deal. How are you, how are you feeling tonight? No, delighted. Uh, it's been a long day, but obviously I've come down here early this morning, got the deal done, and I'm happy to be here. And when was it that you learned that Reading were interested, looking to, to bring you here? Um, I've, I've known for a few months, to be honest. So um, I knew the interest a couple of months ago, and ever since then, really, I've I've been interested in the move, and obviously, you know, delighted to, to speak to the manager and to get going, really. I was going to say, you, that sounds like it's almost predated the current manager, but you've had a chance to, to meet him, speak to him, and yeah, uh, yeah what's kind of yeah. impression you got from him? Great. Um, he seems a very honest manager. He knows what he wants. Um, we have similar similar thoughts on how we want to play, and um, hopefully I'll do well under him. It was he a big pull in kind of getting you over the line, if, if that makes sense? Yeah, so, uh, as soon as the sport run was kind of set on coming here, um, I sport on the phone and then met him earlier this week, so... Ever since I met him, yeah, I was delighted to, delighted to come. And, and as you mentioned as well, you know that if you sort of share similar kind of philosophies, if you like, it kind of yeah. helps you have that shared vision. Is that is that something you felt when you? Yeah, were definitely. Um, we spoke about a lot of the um, analysis on the game, and he said we'll we'll go in the training ground tomorrow and to pick up some stuff there. And I just can't wait to get started. Yeah, and I guess you've probably been, hopefully, having a little look at how Reading have got on so far this season. Pretty good in the league so far. You know, the cup win as well, and uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, impressed with what you've seen so far. No pressure, is it? No. <laughs> Two wins out of two, top of the league. Uh, can't go much wrong with that. Um, now I've been watching ever since. Really, I knew the interest. Um, obviously, it's a massive club, um, and yeah, they've, they've started flying. So hopefully, you can carry the momentum on. And I guess you probably won't know the boys in person yet, but you'll have a little feel for what kind of players they are already. In yeah, that sense. no. Obviously, I've, I've saw the talent they've got in the team. Um, obviously, they've won the first two as well, and obviously, can't we meet them tomorrow? And I guess. You know the manager's already shown he's got you know a bit of faith in, in younger players. He's got a blooded a lot of our academy boys. You come in as a you know a young lad yourself, yeah. and, and the fact that he's willing to give, you know, he, he doesn't really mind how old you are if you've got the kind of right attitude and stuff. So uh, that, that's an important part, isn't it, for a young guy? Yeah, no, he showed that the other day in the cup game. Um, I saw that the, there was literally eleven players, ten players changed. Um, it's, a, it's a long season, um, so the changing round and the the squad depth is important. So. It's, it's good to see that he's, he's changing it around. Tell us a little bit about you as a player. Then we know he's a centre half. What kind of what kind of centre half are you? There's a lot of different styles, aren't there these days? Uh, I would say calm, composed. Um, I like getting on the ball, like playing from the back. But then I love the defending. I love putting body on the line, keeping clean sheets. So it's the most important thing, and getting three points. You out and out centre half. You a bit versatile as well. I've played left back. Um, I'm mostly a centre back, but yeah, I can I can play there. Obviously, if the team needs us, that's no problem. And of course, there is some good competition in that centre half role. I guess that's uh, something you'll hopefully thrive on, and you know, yeah. look to put the pressure on the boys who've been here a little while, the young guys, the, the more experienced heads as well. Yeah, no, of course. I think anywhere you're going now in the championship, obviously the squad depth, like we touched on before, is is big. And um, if you want to get out, get out of the league and go higher, you need to have a lot of talented players, and that's what we've got here. So, yeah, I can't wait for the challenge. And if we can have a little look at your kind of career so far, before we sort of talk about club football. Got to look at your international as well. You've yeah. been involved in the England setup since a young age, and and of course came home from uh, from India was it with the World Cup medal? A few yeah, years oh, back. yeah, uh, great experience. Uh, a mad one to be honest, India. Um, but yeah, it was a, an experience to look back on with with good memories, and it was it was great to to have under my belt and to be playing with such you know, players who have you know, kind of stepped up, if you like. I mean, players like Phil Foden, Foden was in that team. Callum Hudson Odoi, you know, you were a, sort of really good talents and stuff. So I, I guess. You've been learning a lot, even since yeah. a young age, about you know what it takes to, to the, kind of make it. Yeah, the, the talent in that team was was unbelievable. Really, you see you see everyone now doing well for themselves. Um, we kind of knew that at the time as well that the the quality that we had in the team, and I'm now looking to push on myself and to get going here and hopefully go as go as high as we can. Yeah, and the fact that you come here to Reading off the back of a loan spell, you know, you got your first taste of kind of like sort of open age football if yeah. you like. You played a lot of youth football but you were, got right stuck in a Fleetwood last year. What was that experience like? Great. Um, best decision I made. Um, the club was great. Uh, the manager was great. Um, we're doing well. Uh, when I first went there we were, I think we were 11th and then we ended up going to the playoffs and the only thing that could have stopped us was the global pandemic really. Um, I was 9 unbeaten in the league and then unfortunately we've had to stop and come back for the playoffs and the, the two game kind of killed us but now the the team was, was an excellent team and it was a great place to be. And how did you find that experience of kind of going from sort of sort of developmental football, if you like, through yeah. to where it really matters and there's, you know, obviously not at the moment, but fans really yeah. vying for everything. And, you know. No, it's it's different and it's important. Um, you realise, you pick up little things about experience when you, the more you play, the more you find out about the game. 
Um, it's, it was just a vital experience that I needed and we built and obviously with the fans at the start it was a bit added pressure which, which I thrive on hopefully we can get get the fans back here as soon as possible. And you mentioned the pandemic of course that kind of ended the season for most clubs League 1, League 2 very early but you had of course those extra games in the playoffs so uh, where are you kind of fitness wise now? It's been a bit weird few months hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, nah, nah I feel good I feel very good um, I've, I've managed to get two games when you've built with Evan since I've been back uh, Preston and Blackpool and Done well. I, f I feel sharp and I'm ready to go. And lastly, you know, you're here at Reading, got a year-long uh, deal here with us. And uh, yeah, what would you consider to be kind of successful season? Um, I wouldn't say anything really in my mind at the moment. Um, as high as possible. Um, I know obviously last year wasn't the best of years, but we know the talent in the team. We know the, the size of the club. Uh, we know where we want to be, and it's just about putting that in place. And obviously, if I got off to a great start, and we're just going to keep the momentum, keep going forward, and go as high as possible.